what are the most common UX design interview questions? So there could be a variety of questions that you may be asked, but usually the first question you'll get in a UX design interview is, tell us a bit about yourself, which is quite common with most interviews anyway. But here, what they're actually looking for is, why are you passionate about UX design? What have you done before? How did you get into UX design? Um, so that's really what they're looking at. Are you really passionate about UX design? Um, have you done anything great in your life personally and uh, professionally as as a UX career? So that's what they're really looking for. They want to know a bit about the personality. Uh, another question they may ask you um, about UX design is why UX design? What do you understand UX design? So they could ask you, um, what is what is good UX design? So they could ask you, give us, uh, expect examples of what does it mean to you? Uh, what does UX design mean to you um, in terms of what value it adds? So what's the value added of UX design? So you, for that, you'd give examples of good, good, good UX design, how it changes uh, the world or the user's world. Uh, so what I always talk about, useful, usable and delightful experiences. Um, so they want, they're expecting that from us to, to tell them what it is um, that is great about UX design. So one is, who are you as a person? Secondly, what is it? How do you define UX design? Because every design is different. Um, and they just want to know what you understand of it. So how, how does that work for you? The next thing in a UX design interview they're going to want to know is how are you going to improve their product? So my advice to you is check out their website, read about them, go to the About Us page, look at their process. So if they're a retail store, for example, or an e-commerce website, go through the checkout process, see what it's like, um, experience their experience so that you'll know what it's like. So they want to know, what did you find wrong with it? So in one interview I had, uh, they actually took me to their website and said, right, how would you improve it? Now, if it's already a good product, <laughs> it's hard on the spot to find something wrong, but not wrong with something you could improve, but there is always something you could, you could find. So for example, it could be, I would improve um, uh, the the font size here it's it's not prominent or the call to action the CTA i.e. the main button or there might be a primary CTA and secondary CTA i.e. A, a primary call to action and secondary one maybe they're too distinct or they're not distinct enough so things like that which don't worry I'll go through all this terminology in further videos so don't forget to subscribe um, so they ask you how would you improve our product uh, that's a, that's a, another really common question they might ask you. Um, and then another one they might ask you is, how would you sell UX design to um, stakeholders? So how do you sell it to customers, to management, um, to your colleagues, the UI person? How are you going to convince them that your design is the, the right one? How do you justify your design? You have to be able to justify your design and then to the developer as well. So all stakeholders, how do you sell your design, your idea, and justify and give reasons why your UX design is good? Um, so that's what they're looking at. Are you able to justify your design? Because UX design is not just about pretty designs. It's about functional designs, things that help people, help users. So you have to know why that design helps. So you could say it's it's faster. I've tested it. It's quicker on users. have found it five seconds quicker than the, the, the previous design. So you always give your justification. If you have your justification in, in the UX world, you'll never get in trouble. Uh, you'll always find your stakeholders happy because or usually happy when they understand that you understand your stuff so know your stuff i'll give you something that's really real and when i interview people as well you're not just looking for a ux designer I, and i'll be honest with you anything in in the design space um and generally good, all good employers anyway are looking for a good person a great personality a person who's a who can work with others that doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you can't design. You obviously have to know how to design and be a good UX designer, but they need a good personality because if you're not a good people's person, there's no way you're going to survive in the job. So they really want to get to who you are as a person as well. So they want to get to know what are you like? Can you work with other people? Um, have you been uh, good working in a team? Because without teamwork, 
nothing in UX design ever works uh, because you're working uh, with your design and you're giving it to the UI person who is going to spruce it up, improve it, bring in the fonts, the colors, and jazz it up, make it amazing, uh, and then give it to the developer to do the technical bit. Now, if you can't work with people, they don't need you. They're not going to want you. It doesn't matter how amazing you are as a designer. Uh, and that's just a few of the questions you'll get uh, in an interview. I'm happy to do more videos on interviews, but I get a lot of requests on that. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell everyone about this channel. So here, I'm going to help you become a great UX designer. Um, so this is it. I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching, guys.